This is the Viltrox 23mm f1.4. It's a neat little lens here for Sony E-mount bodies. I've got a full review up here. However, the autofocus seems to be a little out of whack with the A6500. I don't know if this is all APS-C bodies, but can she, you can see this awful breathing here. And the reason that I didn't catch this in my initial review is I did most of the shooting with the A7 III, which you can see here doesn't seem to have the same problem with it before the firmware upgrade. However, the firmware upgrade was just released a couple days ago, and you can see how well it has fixed the autofocus issue. It's a little bit slower, I think, but in general, it is much more usable, and it's not terribly slow anyways. So let's take a quick look to see how you actually upgrade the firmware. So you're going to want to go to the website, which I have linked down in the description, and then you're going to want to find your focal length as well as your mount. We have got the Sony E-mount here. I believe the XF is a Fuji mount. And then we have got the Canon EFM mount here. So let's go to our Sony mount, find the correct date, which is going to be the newest one, and click the download button. After that, we want to find it and go ahead and extract it into its own folder and open that up. Inside here, you'll see some detailed instructions in this file that they include. And you can follow those instructions to update it there. So you want to plug your lens into the computer. It's got a USB port in the bottom of it, and it'll pop up here in your computer. We can open up the lens here, click on this device information, and check out the existing software version. Next, we want to go to our downloaded file and go ahead and send that to the Viltrox lens. After that's done, it'll take just a second to restart, and you can check your device information again to see the updated firmware version you can see here, 1.1.3. Here's the Sony A6500 after the upgrade, then the A7 III before the upgrade. It works great. And then we've got the A7 III after the upgrade. It's just about the exact same. I can't really see much of a difference. It may be just a touch slower. So thanks for watching, you guys, and hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.